New developments on a story we've been following since January of last year. That's when Jada Kelly was accused of driving drunk and crashing, killing two sisters and severely injuring one of her friends. Our Morgan Harris has the latest now on where the case stands. Yeah, so CJ investigators say at the time of the crash along the I-55 frontage road, her blood alcohol level was more than twice the legal limit. Her attorneys now want any evidence that she was drinking at the time of the crash to be thrown out altogether. Just before 3 a.m. January 15th of 2023, police say Kelly crashed into another car. Passengers and sisters, Azure Higgins and Valerie Lynch died at the scene. The driver was taken to the hospital. Kelly's attorney, Dennis Sweet, filed a motion in June to exclude any testimony or evidence that she was intoxicated at the time of the incident. Laura Key, sister of Azure and Valerie, says she's angry and just wants justice for her family. Drinking and driving to me has become like this after effect when it's just as bad as going out with a gun and killing someone. You're just doing it with a car. So yes, ma'am, I am pushing for 25 years in each case. I will never have my sisters back, but I know one thing, I promised them that I would fight for them and that's what I'm calling for. Now, Kelly was charged with three counts of aggravated DUI. Her bond was set at only $75,000. Kelly's trial is set to begin August 5th at 11 a.m. Coming up at 6, hear more from uh, the two sisters' family, and we will continue to follow this case closely and, of course, keep you updated. Morgan Harris, three on your side. Story we've been following since January of last year. That's when Jada Kelly was accused of driving drunk and crashing, killing two sisters and severely injuring one of their friends. The Reader Science Morgan Harris is following this case and she has the very latest on where it stands now. Morgan. So Howard, investigators say at the time of the crash along the I-55 frontage road, Jada Kelly's blood alcohol level was more than twice the legal limit. Her attorneys now want any evidence that she was drinking at the time of the crash to be thrown out altogether. Just before 3 a.m. January 15th of 2023, police say Kelly crashed into another car. Passengers and sisters, Azure Higgins and Valerie Lynch died at the scene. The driver was taken to the hospital. Kelly's attorney, Dennis Sweet, filed a motion in June to exclude any testimony or evidence that she was intoxicated at the time of the incident. Laura Key, sister of Azure and Valerie, says she's angry and wants justice to be served. It is the main reason that this accident occurred. She was 0.18 over the legal limit. She chose to drink and drive. This was not a mistake. This actually was a result of her actions and the fact that she decided to take those actions and now they want to throw out that information is absolutely ridiculous. So Kelly's defense attorney's motion claims the breathalyzer test conducted on Kelly at the scene was unreliable. It also says the 22 year old was not properly informed of her right to refuse the test or to consult with an attorney. Jada Kelly's trial is set to begin August 5th at 11 a.m. Tonight at 10, hear more from the victim's families as they continue their fight for justice and hear what Kelly's attorney has to say about the case. Morgan Harris, three on your side. For a woman charged with a deadly DUI is coming up soon and we will tell you what her attorney is asking for in court today. New information tonight on a deadly DUI case that left two people dead and another man seriously injured in January of last year. Yeah, Jada Kelly, the woman charged with aggravated DUI, has now asked the court to throw out any evidence about her intoxication. The Reader Science Morgan Harris has been following this case. She has reaction from the family of the victim following Kelly's request. I will never have my sisters back, but I know one thing, I promised them that I would fight for them, and that's what I'm calling for. The family of Azure Higgins and Valerie Lynch are demanding justice. In January of 2023, the sisters were killed in a crash along I-55 frontage and Canton Mart Roads. A third person in the car was left severely injured. Investigators say Jada Kelly was driving drunk and crashed into their car. She was later arrested and police say her blood alcohol level was more than twice the legal limit. She is now out on bond. For two people's lives that were instantly taken, they, on, they only gave her $75,000 bond, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. You killed two people. Is that worth, 
Is that what their lives were worth? A $75,000 bond is a slap in my face, a slap in my family's face, because um, that's not one life you alter. It's not, you know, it's two, two, two lives. Kelly is facing three counts of aggravated DUI. She couldn't even hold her head up for the mugshot. So I'm very angry and I do not want this thrown out. However, in June, Kelly's attorney, Dennis Sweet, filed a motion asking the court to exclude any testimony or evidence that she was intoxicated at the time of the incident. And drive. This was not a mistake. This actually was a result of her actions. And the fact that she decided to take those actions and now they want to throw out that information is absolutely ridiculous. I don't want her to go in there and be looked at as a young girl who has all this life ahead of her and things like that. I need them to look, like my brother said, I need them to look at the facts. The facts was she made a very horrible decision and that horrible decision led to horrible, horrible, you know, results. Jada Kelly's trial is set to begin August 5th at 11 a.m. Morgan Harris, three on your side. We reached out to Kelly's attorneys for comment. Dennis Sweet III said, quote, we don't want to say anything to aggravate the suffering in that family. However, she's been charged criminally. When there is a trial date and trial, we will be prepared to go forward with the trial. A former Pearl Police Chief 